Tonight, another Utah family is mourning the loss of a loved one killed in a crash. A Uinta County man was just minutes from his house following a long cross-country trip when that crash happened. His death, one of 51 lives lost on Utah roadways just this summer. Kirsten Nunez spoke exclusively with his wife and family. And Kirsten, they have a message tonight for all drivers. Right, tonight the family of Jason Schultz is asking drivers to slow down and pay attention. They say Jason took every precaution possible. He wore his helmet, full body gear, he tried not to ride in the dark, and he stopped when the weather got bad. But there was nothing that he could have done to prevent the actions of another driver. He was just so excited. He told everybody that he talked to that it was just him in the open road. Jason Schultz dreamed of this moment since he was 15, a cross-country road trip on his bike. He wasn't the best at taking selfies, um, <laughs> but I told him to take some selfies for me so that we could mark his, his trip. After dropping his son off at his Army duty station in North Carolina, Jason rode nearly 1,900 miles over the span of four days. And I was counting down the minutes. Crystal was watching her husband's location on an app, but 5.5 miles away from home. And all of a sudden, his speed and his photo disappeared. Panic set in. I tried calling him twice and he didn't answer. So I hit the map, I grabbed my keys and I jumped in the car and I drove. Jason was headed west on US 40 when investigators say a black Mazda turned left in front of him. He crashed and was thrown from the bike. I remember getting out of the car and just running and yelling, that's my husband. Crystal followed the ambulance to the hospital. And I could see him doing CPR on my husband through the back window. Then the unbearable news. They took me into the room and I just held him and I rocked him and I begged him to open his eyes. A husband, father, grandfather, now gone. My whole world just shattered. I've been with him since I was 17 years old, so I don't know life without him. A senseless crash robbing them of a lifetime together. Open your eyes, slow down, pay attention, and remember that just as much as you want to go home to your loved one, we wanted our loved one to come home to us, and he did it. Tonight, Jason's daughter told me that her dad eight minutes from home. They hope by sharing their story that they can maybe save someone else's lives. Now, family, uh, friends have created GoFundMe page for the family. We'll link you over to that on KSLTV.com. Back to you. Such a tough time for their family. Thank you, Kirsten.